Previously on The Potentialists. My grandma wanted to do a trip with me, so I said, why not go to some of my roots? Try all that salt that's on the house, okay? How's it taste? It tastes good. And just the way the whole church was built up there. Right here is the cathedral, where people can sit. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. We're in Bogota, and part of the trip, we actually flew to Armenia. And Armenia was about maybe a 45 minute trip by a propeller plane, which was interesting. Alright, now I'm going on a cable car, and then we're gonna go ahead and go to the amusement park of this area. Okay, so we're getting off, and um, we'll see if we can find the cool attractions, and then go ahead and ride them. That theme park was basically based off of coffee. I mean, everything they served over there was either made with or made of coffee. I just came out the roller coaster, I'm a little bit wet, but it's not as good as the ones back home. This is more of my style. I've been walking for about an hour now to get to where everybody else is at and I reached a point that I really don't want to do but I have to. About five minutes later, almost at the top. So I was late to the show after climbing all the stairs and um, they're in there. The show's called Show de Café. A bunch of people dancing and showing different kinds of coffee. We're leaving the park and then we're gonna go ahead to the thermal waters. And we ended up going to the hot springs in Colombia. So we're in the thermal waters and like always, it's a long walk and climb and but at least we have something to look at while we climb. The water from there was beautiful, that water was freezing. But then you would walk up maybe a quarter of a mile away and there was the hot springs and I mean that felt just extremely relaxing. All that smoke is from the thermal pool. I'm not a scientist, but from what I heard, it's basically water that gets warmed by the Earth's crust. We ended up walking through the, the botanical gardens. And inside of it, they actually designed the maze using some bushes, which was actually kind of cool. Old bamboo is, is green, but when it comes out, it's brown. If you thought the green, Bamboo is not problem. If you touch this brown plant, can it stick your hand with, I don't know, 400 spikes? Wow! Basically all of Armenia is coffee fields and things like that. And this is where they make the coffee yes, and everything, son. so... I'm gonna go ahead and take about a 20 minute tour, then we're gonna go ahead and get our hands dirty. I learned a lot. These countries are the producers, right? Mm -hmm. <coughs> and these countries are the drinkers. This is the first producer, Brazil. The second one is Vietnam. The third one is New Zealand. And Colombia, the fourth one mm. in production. But the first in quality. These right here are actually coffee beans right here. And what they do is they put it in the sand after they take it from the trees. We go ahead and we gotta pick these, which are red beans kind of kind of looking things and what you do is you pick them through there normally they pack up to seven to eight baskets a day these are the buckets huge and then they go ahead and pick around seven to eight of those they get paid 400 pesos for each basket that's not a lot of money but 1000 pesos equals two of our dollars so normally the water boy goes ahead and leaves and go get this. It's like sugar cane, water, and lemon. It's really good. Everybody gives in two kilos of what they got for a cup. And then he goes ahead, does that every about hour or so. Okay, so now here's one of the machines that you only see in this farm to go ahead and separate the skin from the bean. Um, actually, the, these are the beans. And this machine is a bicycle. And what it does is it just goes ahead and uh, separates them and it puts it down there. And so right here is where they dry the coffee over the, throughout the day. Um, so they pick it the day before, put it here to dry. This is a half full cup of beans. 
and they'll leave it here to dry. This this is the bean, and then here's the skin. They'll put it in water to do that, and that's where we're going next. I'm gonna get some water. I'm going to get this uh, filter can. Okay. Who's drinking coffee? Sure. All of you? Yeah. I'll drink a you don't tiny, drink? tiny bit. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. This is not resin to stop. Put inside, don't move it, don't shake it. Why? It disturbs it. No, because if you put the spoon inside or you move it or shake it, you get a two-two coffee. Two coffee? <laughs> yeah, you start drinking your coffee, you have small pieces inside your mouth. <laughs> right? So I'm gonna need to drink coffee with the saucer. You're supposed to hold it in the palm of your hand because it's more heavy. I'm gonna get some coffee and I'll see you guys after. No, then I'll get a coffee high. Here on an airplane one more time going back to the US. I love Colombia. I'm dying to go back to Colombia. It was a great trip. I was super exhausted though. I was ready to get back home and start school. Hey yo, how you doing? Check this out. It's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowler World. Feel me?